we are working on to fix Windows command processor on startup in Windows 10. Windows command processor is a legitimate Windows file and um, it pops up whenever there's a malware and it is executed. So this malware will keep on popping up and asking for permission to open Windows command processor. Cancel will not work and uh, the pop-up will always appear. Now to fix this we have multiple options. The first option is to delete the virus files manually. So we will click on right click on the task bar and we'll choose task manager in Windows 10. Once we are on task manager we'll be going to processes tab and we will be looking for suspicious processes with num random letters. This will help us in identifying the malware later. So if we give a look on the list, um, for now this computer is not infected so uh, we won't see any example here but in your computer if you um, if you look at random letters, let's say I just found one in here which is not a virus but um, kind of the thing that we are looking for some random letters in the processes. Now let's minimize it and press Windows and R key. Type R E G, add it, and hit enter. Click on yes if you get a USC prompt. Let me close down all of these. Now we go to HK current user software Microsoft then Windows let's press W and uh, Windows and we are going in current version and then run now if you see some suspicious e entries in here we need to remove them um, right now in this computer there is no infection so if you see some um, some entries which are suspicious some random letters or numbers we need to remove them or alternatively we can perform a clean boot uh, which is given in another article which is uh, mentioned in the description of this video if you want to clean boot Windows 10 we press Windows and R key we type MS config once we are in MS config we'll be going to serv services tab let's put a check on hide all Microsoft services and then we say disable all not we click on apply and then click on OK once we press OK it will ask us to restart our computer press restart and uh, this will be uh, starting up in 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 a clean boot mode once uh, if you when you press restart your windows will start in uh, in the clean boot option uh, the clean boot is basically to uh, disable um, irrelevant services or the services which are not required uh, another thing is that we go to uh, MS config again and then we go to startup which will ask us to open task manager now from here everything that has a high impact on Windows startup will disable that so once done we'll restart our computer and we ha will have the computer in clean boot mode um, this should disable the uh, uh, running of the Windows command processor and the startup now the second st the fourth step is um, we hold shift key and then we restart our computer
let's restart it so when you hold the shift key and press uh, choose to restart you will uh, land um, uh, on this on this screen and here we'll choose troubleshoot and then we will choose advanced options um, on this screen we'll choose startup settings so that it gives us the options to choose the safe mode startup let's click on restart so on restart you'll get this screen if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 8 uh, from here we will choose safe mode um, enable safe mode with networking or just the safe mode let's press F4 and let the windows start okay so the windows are now started in safe mode we'll go to C drive users and then your user username folder go to app data and then roaming in here we'll need to find executable files um, and the files which are with random names you'll find files in this folder that are randomly generated by the malware with rather short names such as S A D I S P O D C I X G or any any random letters in the file so they are easy to spot delete these files and delete all the related folders if you find any um, any txt file ini file or config file that you find with the same name of the malware generated files once done um, we'll go back to app data folder and then into local and we'll do the same after that we go to the same directory in local and then temp and here we'll do the same to find random uh, file names which are random letters and then uh, executables their related folder and related files once you are done uh, deleting everything from here uh, restart your PC in normal mode and see if you are still getting the same issue so I'm gonna just restart it and wait for it to come back okay so the windows are back and um, check if you are still getting any issue the second method that we have to is to use malware bytes ADW cleaner advanced cleaner or and the combo combo fix to scan and fix your PC so the first step is to scan using malware bytes uh, the link to download malware bytes is given in the video description let's quickly download it here Okay, so the download is in process. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, the download is complete. Let's run the file. Click on yes for the USC prompt. And for the wizard to install malware bytes. Okay, so the malware bytes is installed. Um, we need to restart Windows in safe mode and then uh, perform a complete full scan using malware bytes and delete all the malwares that are um, found by this uh, malware cleaner. The second thing that we want to use is a DW cleaner. Let me bring up the address. This URL is given in the video description. click on free download alright so it is downloaded now let's run the installer so 
so we'll follow the same process uh, restart windows in safe mode as shown um, earlier in this video and then perform a full scan using this uh, ADW cleaner so when you use Malwarebytes latest version and ADW cleaner latest version to scan your computer it should fix your uh, uh, fix the issue with the malware the second step that we have is to use um, combo fix if no malware is found and the issue is not fixed we will need combo combo fix to um, uh, to fix this issue the most important thing to remember when we are running it is is to disable all your malware programs and then combo fix from your desktop so here's the link it is given in the video description let's download the software from here for the file to get downloaded so at, as we mentioned before that combo fix will um, cannot be used if your malware programs are running so disable your malware programs and then start combo fix um, from your computer so it will create a system restore point and back up your registry in case anything goes wrong and it's going to scan your PC and detect if Windows Recovery Console is installed. So once it is done, uh, hopefully this issue will be resolved. Uh, if you have any, and if you have, if you, if you are still facing an issue, then you will need to have a system restore point to move back to. You might lose some programs but your personal data will stay intact just type restore in the start menu and then start the restore process if you have a windows restore point created earlier i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel